Look, I'd love to sugarcoat this thing for you. I'd love to tell you, look, you can go out here and get rich, do a couple of things, they have. You gotta get real doggish. You gotta get downright funky if you wanna make it. If you wanna be ordinary, you ain't even gotta listen to me. Just go on about your business. But if you are sitting in this room and you have extraordinary aspirations, then you're gonna have to do extra. You put extra on top of ordinary and you come up with extraordinary. It's no other way. But here's the fact. All of you have extraordinary capabilities. All of you. You have to decide if you are willing to do the things to put you in that category. While they was golfing, I was studying. While they were shooting hoops, I was studying. While they was playing games and sitting up and eating and joking in the restaurant, I was studying. You can't get out of something, something that you're not willing to put into it. You have to put your everything, your everything, your mind, your energy, your effort, your discipline, your tenacity. Nothing is going to jump out the fire if you don't throw something in there. It's not going to happen. You have to be committed through the storm and the rain and the heartache and the pain and the disappointment. It's a commitment. It's not a feeling. Commitment don't have nothing to do with your feelings. You do it because you're supposed to. Push through pain enough and there's glory on the other side of it. But you gotta get through it. I realized I was on the right path because it stopped being easy. I'm fucking exhausted. I'm tired as f but I'm not gonna complain because I asked for this shit. So I'm gonna smile with tired fucking eyes and realize that everything I'm doing on a daily basis is for a fucking reason. When you want something, don't expect everybody to say, oh, you want this? Oh, great, we want to give this to you. You're such a nice person. You're doing it for your family, aren't you? Great. No, no, life isn't like that. But that's how people look at success. They look at it like you do a few things. I f***ing ate right for three days. Why am I not a f***ing fitness model? I did my tasks that I needed to do. I sent five emails. I called 10 people. Why am I not running a $10 million company? Because they don't understand what mastering the monotonous means. It means doing the sh that most people are too f***ing undisciplined to do day in and day out with perfection. Doing it better than everybody else. Doing it to the best of your ability. And most people will give up. But you've got to decide that I'm going to be relentless. I refuse to be denied. And I'm going to go all out. Effort is isolated. The reason why effort is isolated, because nobody can dictate it. Because that's all about you. Effort is 100% in the mind. That's what wins championships. That's what wins battles. No excuses. You're an adult now. You're not kids no more. Do it. Girlfriend or no girlfriend. Do it. Tired or not tired. Do it. You said you was going to do it out your mouth. You're a man now. And a man is only as good as his word, not his emotions. Your emotions don't win championships. So whatever's going to cause you not to be your best, stop it. It's going to be a fight. At some point, you got to go take the life out of it. You got to take.